What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jenny and I'm That Props Girl and today we are going to be talking about what happens when you get a props list for a show. So I have mentioned before on my channel that this year I'm working on a production of Cinderella and I just got my script and the initial props list but I have received a few questions about what you do once you get a props list, where do you even start, how do you know what you need to buy and all that sort of stuff. So today we're going to be going through all of that. So if you're doing props for a show or you've got some questions questions around all of this then this is the video for you. Be sure to give this video a like if you do enjoy it because it lets me know you do want to see more content like this as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss a single one of my uploads and with all that said and done let's jump straight into this video. We are joined today by Showbear. He is here. Uh, he is my mascot for all my shows. He comes with me. And if you watched my series on when I went through every single show that I ever did props for, he was from Annie Junior, which was my first ever prop show. And yeah, so that's the story behind the bear. Okay, so last week I went and had a meeting with the director and the choreographer of Cinderella and we went through and did an initial props list. Now I have my laptop here and on that I have an emailed list of all of the props. Now often, you know, in these meetings with the director, sometimes when you get a script sent to you uh, from the company, sometimes it will come with a props list and often that list is just a suggested list. It doesn't always list everything and directors can remove, they can add, they can do whatever they want within the bounds of the script. Sometimes things, you know, have to be there. Obviously it's Cinderella. Not having a pair of glass slippers would be a little bit controversial and weird, but you know, each to their own. So basically we went through every single page of the script and the director went through uh, anything that he could see and think of that we might particularly need. And that of course is going to grow and change over a little bit of time. There's so we have to allow a little bit of flexibility here, but today we are looking at the initial initial props list. So within that meeting, I took some notes. Now I've gone through this before in some of my essentials videos where I have a notebook where I write everything down. This is actually just an art journal uh, with blank pages and no lines. So I went through and did an initial props list here. Now this was an extremely messy list because I was writing in a bit of a hurry. So we're going to rewrite that today. And we're also going to go through the typed list on my computer. And so when I'm writing a props list, I usually have a list on one page Page, but then on the next page I will have a questions to ask page and that's where if I need further clarification on things I will write it all in here. Alright so I've just ripped out this initial page because as I said it's extremely messy and I think I'm going to get very confused if I keep that in there so I'm going to rewrite it now in the notebook. So let's just consult the props list over here. So we have got baskets with fabric and fabric stand. Okay, so I've mentioned this before in a few previous videos that villager scenes are really interesting to find props for because you do have some standard ones that are usually there. like there's often a fruit cart or a jewelry seller or uh, you know a bread seller and all those sorts of things at, or a flower seller, but I've never had a fabric stand. So that's really cool. So next on this list, it says crates times 10. But I do have a question about this because I don't know, you know, what kind of crates they're looking for. I assume wooden, but I'm going to flip this over. And then on my questions page, I'm going to write down crates size and type wood question mark I write little question marks there because it kind of prompts me to go to remember and ask that question I know that it's on a questions to ask page but anyways that's just how my brain works okay next flower bunches and baskets that's pretty standard don't know an amount on that one basket with bread again I said that's pretty standard a meat trolley this one will be fun and I really hope I get to do this. So for this production of Cinderella, we are hiring some stuff as well and I don't know what's in the hire package yet. So I really hope a lot of these things I get to source because these are really fun things and I've never done a meat trolley before and I think that will be so fun to do on this channel. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves until we know what's actually happening with this. But yeah, so I need to write down in the questions tab about the meat trolley and you know what we kind of want on this, who's doing that. 
So I've written here, meet Trolley, who is doing and what? So that will trigger me to ask that question. Okay, fruit stand crates of fruit. I've done that so many times. That's a stock standard villager thing. Pots and pans on, on strings. That's a new one. This is gonna be such a busy market scene. Okay, invitations. Now the invitations are probably something that I'm gonna to have to have a lot of spares for um, because I guarantee they're gonna get uh, ruined and all that sort of stuff during the course of the show and that just is how it is. So lots of printing will be happening there. Wrapped up salmon in butcher's paper. I'm actually getting really excited because there are so many props in this show. Okay, hat stand with hats. Oh, I think that's a hat stall, not like a traditional hat stand. Bunting colorful, presents wrapped in butcher's paper and twine. Long brass trumpets for fanfare. Now, I've actually made these before. If you saw my video from December, 2021, and I'll link it for you, I made these, they're called Buzines, um, and I made them for a production that I was actually in, and they were really easy to make, and I just used like a piece of dowel and the end of a hose and a funnel, and it worked super well, and I used my Cricut to do the, the flag on them. Super easy. Okay, so I now have my initial list here and here, and then I have my questions to ask here. Now, as I said, I'm not quite sure what's coming in the higher package, so I'm waiting for the clarification on that, but there are some things that I know I will need to shop for. Uh, so I'm gonna take a new page now and I'm gonna start my initial shopping list. So for this show, we are resurrecting something that this particular theatre company used in another show. So in 2015, we did a production of My Fair Lady and we had these giant hanging baskets. They were like, you know, those hanging planter baskets and they had like overflowing wisteria and vines all over them. So we're bringing them back again, but I'm going to have to remake them. So, uh, and they also are adding another one. So I would have to buy another basket. So I definitely need to buy at least times one um, hanging basket. I also will need to buy more hanging wisteria. And I got that off of eBay, but I'll have to try and find it again. I'm also planning on doing a whole video on how I make the hanging basket. So don't worry, I will share it all with you. Uh, and I will also need vines. Now I'm a kind of person it's kind of like my signature used to be using decorative vines. I just used to use them everywhere, but they're so good for set dressing, especially if you have a village scene or something in a forest, which Cinderella is set in and um, all these sorts of things. So I always have vines on hand, but after a while they do get a little bit ratty and I used them in High School Musical and they were definitely on their last legs. But to be fair, I'd had some of them for a really, really, really long time. So I think it's time to just sort of like start to upgrade them and toss them out. I will need to go through and see how many flower bunches I have, whether I need to get more. I know I went through and tossed a whole lot out, so I'm probably gonna have to get some more. One of the things when you're working with a large ensemble, sometimes when you hire things, they've come from a company that's smaller. And because this particular company is a school, uh, we have a lot of kids. And for one of the scenes, they want all of the girls, I think it's all the ones who are attending a ball to have uh, fans. And for that, I know I'm probably gonna have to purchase them. Um, so I've popped fans on this list, but I don't know what color yet. So, and I don't know the star yet. So, I, and I don't know how much I'm going to have to do on them. So with all that said, um, I popped fans on the list, but it's not something I can buy now. I'm going to put a cushion on here because we want a royal cushion to put the glass slipper on. But if you watched my video when I was working on Frozen last year, I actually made a cushion for the royal orb and scepter. This particular one needs to be red. And because it's not holding something that's round, I can probably just buy one. But I may need to put like gold braiding and everything. So I'm going to put cushion on here. Okay. And so the 
director wanted these ugly vases and things to be in the stepmother's house um so i'm gonna have a lot of fun i think uh i would love to take you guys on a shopping trip when i actually go and go through op shops and buy things for this show it's gonna be super fun so normally once i have done my initial list my brain starts to you know go through designs and all that sort of stuff so i'm going to jot down a few of those now and um, sort of brainstorm ideas all these sorts of things and sometimes when I'm designing I will write little questions next to what I've um, come up with so that we can sort of work through it So basically I go through and I sketch out things. So I have a sketch and they're very rough sketches like of the hanging basket. And then I write here, um, we can have vines on the pickup. So how they're being flown in the fly tie. I've already asked that question saying that this is vines, this is wisteria. And over here, I've got a little note with an asterisk to say, need to check the colors because I don't know what colors they want. Down here, the fan's pretty self-explanatory. Yes, it could be a normal fan, but also, I don't know, colors. Uh, I need to figure out, you know, what we're doing with them and can I put fabric and feathers on them, whether they want that. And I need to figure out how to do a wrist strap for it over the page we've got our very long scroll now I have made one of these before but I have made notes over here by saying we might need a spare one it needs to have solid handles not just on dowel because my previous ones have been on dowel it needs to be really thick and how to do strong paper uh, down here at the meat stall I'm not certain that I'm going to be doing this but should I be doing it um, I've just listed you know different types of meat that it might have this is just a mock-up of what it might look like um, but looking at like sausages hanging from the side here uh, do we have steak like where do I buy these things I might have to make them and I've got a mental note here to say look into this over on the next page I've started looking at the fabric stall um, and whilst I'll probably still have some fabrics hanging there I want to do like little bundles and some spools and rolls of fabric there I might want to do some wool so I'm going to look into that but I think the the village scene is meant to be very very colorful so I think the fabric stall is probably a great place as well as the fruit stall to bring in a lot of that color Okay, so that's kind of where all of that is at right now. So until I get the further clarification on what's in the hire package, I can't make too much more progress. So I need to have a follow-up meeting. And sometimes this can take a little bit of time, depending on the type of theater company that you're working with. And things change over the course of time as well. So some of the things that I'll probably start with, with things are things that I know that we're 100% going to need. And a lot of those will be the villager props. So once I get a confirmation as to um, whether I'm doing the meat stall and the fabric stand and all that, sort of stuff um, I can start working on those which is super fun because uh, we can do videos and I can also make those hanging baskets I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button if you did as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so stay tuned for the next part and I will see you then bye